Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion and we'll be taking a look at the Gigabyte Z68X UD7B3 motherboard. This motherboard is the new Intel Z68 chipset. It is built specifically for second generation Intel Core processors. Gigabyte has also added some new features as Touch BIOS, which is a hybrid EFI BIOS, a driver MOSFET, it is SLI capable as well as Crossfire. It has a 24 phase power which basically controls your VRM and it is dual CPU powered. Ultra Durable 3 is also included on this. One of the other technologies that is included with the Z68 chipset is the Intel Smart Response technology which basically allows you to use a regular hard drive if you have a smaller SSD, you could use the SSD to boost your caching to boost your speed. I would suggest probably a 20 to a 40 gigabyte SSD, if possible. It is USB 3.0, and if we take a look at the box, you can see it comes with a black and gold face. If we open it up, we can see on the inside, you can actually see part of the motherboard. You see some features. The flap also shows some features that it has. The back of the box shows more features and what the board includes. And let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at what's inside. Inside the box is another black box and that includes your motherboard and all your accessories. There are two boxes. We'll go ahead and take a look at the motherboard first. Anti-static uh, covering and we'll pull the motherboard out and take a look at it. As you can see the motherboard is black. This is one of the new colors for Gigabyte with their upper end boards. They do still have the familiar blue color that we might be used to in our other motherboard designs. We have very nice heat sinks going around the the PWM, South Bridge. If we take a look over, of course we have four DIMM slots for DDR3 memory. Here's your socket. Socket lifts up. Of course, always pull from the bottom to remove the socket protector so you don't bend any of the brushes. Place your chip inside. Bring it back down and reattach your your socket in place. If we go across to the other side, we can see that it has a power button on this side here. As we move down, CMOS switch, 24 pin power connector. We have our SATA ports, 2, 4, 6, 8. This is also uh, SATA 3 and SATA 6 capable, uh, or SATA 2 and SATA 3 capable, meaning SATA 2 as in 3 gigabits and SATA 3 as in 6. We do have a debug here at the bottom and as we go to the bottom of the board we'll see that we have all our connectors for our case and external external uh, accessories. We do have one, two, three, four PCIe connectors, two PCI slots and a PCIe X1 slot. Going around to the I.O. of the uh, board itself, we can see that we have the 8-channel audio, dual gigabit RAM, 2, 4, 6, 8 USB 3.0 connectors, optical and RCA. We also have a PS2 connection, eSATA and when we turn it down to the bottom and look further at these heat sinks we could also see that we have an 8 pin power connector here over here we have our CPU fan connector and on the back of the motherboard you can see the screws that are holding the the heat sinks and we do have a plate for the socket now let's take a look at some of the accessories. 
As I said, this is uh, an enthusiast level board, so you're not going to be able to take advantage of some of the power saving features of the Z68 chipset that will allow you to use uh, dual connectors for your monitor so when your CPU and your system is in idle state that it'll transfer to the onboard video. But this, do, this does come three-way SLI capable. It has the NF200 chipset, the NVIDIA NF200 chipset in it. You get the three-way SLI and also an SLI connector. Your back I.O. port. And it also contains a USB 3.0 uh, front panel connector in it which you connect to there and then go ahead and put it in your front panel so you could access it from the front also instead of the back. It does come with a back expansion, rear expansion port which does have a power connector and two eSATA ports. You have two, four, six SATA cables and for that back SATA port eSATA port, we do also have connectors for that, which would be your power to run your external. And, of course, our manuals, multi multilingual installation guide. A socket warning telling you that you should not use an 1156 CPU in this motherboard. your manual and of course inside of that is your driver CD. This has been a quick overview of the Gigabyte Z68X UD7 B3 motherboard. Thank you very much. Stay thirsty my friends and we'll see you the next time. Bye bye.